Friends, yesterday I was talking to the CEO of one of the largest travel companies in the world. And what he said to me was shocking. Four months back, his turnover was $4 billion. As of now, it's zero. Most of his employees are sent home without salary. Let me tell you something that you have missed out. We are blinded by proximity. When we are in the middle of a crisis, we lose the bigger picture and we feel stuck in a situation. And that's exactly happening to you. To come out of this, let me invite you to ask these five questions that will give you clarity about your current state, your future, and how well you are prepared to handle this crisis. And how can you emerge as a winner? Question number one. What will be the impact of current prices on your career and life in next 10 years? After 10 years, it may be one of the insignificant events of your life. You may not even remember what all you went through. After five to six months, things are going to go back to normal. New industries are going to emerge, new job opportunities will come up, economy will be buzzing and nobody will be talking about it. Question number two, how prepared you are to handle a complex situation like this? When I talk about preparation, I want you to think about financially, mentally, emotionally, socially, academically, professionally. Where do you stand as of now? to handle the situation. Question number three, what are your strengths and what other career options you can think of in future? Now after Corona crisis, the career is going to be dynamic. If you work in an industry and the industry shuts down, then you may have to look at your skills, which you can leverage in other careers. So can you think of the job or the thing that you can do apart from your current job, just in case your company shuts down and you may not get another job in future. Question number four, how do you handle disappointments and setbacks? What happens when you face a crisis? Do you get defensive? Do you get troubled? Do you get anxious? You have impact on the health? Reflect on it and also think how you are going to manage it better. And now the question number five, how can you keep yourself motivated and energized in times like these? So if you get up late in the morning, if you are just uh, going through the spiral of thinking and worries, then what can you do differently to keep yourself in good shape, in the right frame of mind? Friends, if you're feeling lost or clueless about it, it's absolutely natural. So if you need any support, you may Hire an executive coach who can identify your concern, who can set the goals with you and who can put you into action. Plus, he will be setting the context regularly with you and holding you to account so that you get to your goals in fastest possible way. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a wonderful day.